I got you stuck off the realness. I got you stuck off the realness. I got, I got, I got, I got you stuck off the realness. What's going on DC? In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at gadgets. I'm gonna be showing y'all a precision build. This is gonna be for beginners. If you don't if you don't have a lot of skill points, if you have low artifacts, if you don't have money to buy yourself armories to switch back and forth from single target to AOE, this build does it all for you. If you're just looking to make a brand new character, have an alternate character, and you want it to be gadgets, this is also gonna help you out. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, first we're gonna take a look at the white socket mods on the gear. For the weapon, I'm using Blast Adapter. For the helmet, I'm using Critical Battle Display. For the neck, we're using Relentless Precision. Back piece, we're gonna use Accelerated Suppressor Turret. For the chest, we want Penetrating Strikes. For the legs, we want Restorative Taser Pull. And we're gonna go over here to the hands. Uh, it's gonna be Max Damage. And then the feet is personal preference. I, I like using Tumbling Master. Just so we get an idea of what stats we're working with, you see right here we got 124,000 might and only 86,000 precision. Now for allies, this is a beginner build. They're not really important at this point. I go with Oracle Bot mostly because I don't want to pay for a repair build. This is an alt tune. Now here are the artifacts. The transformation card and the strategist card is your main two. I got these up to 120. The third one is personal preference. I use Venom Wrist Dispenser because the boost and precision is very high for the stats that I have. This will help me out a lot. If you don't have this artifact unlocked, you can pick another one. Just make sure it gives you a lot of stats at a low level. This is a precision build, so we're going to do all precision on the augments, adaptive augments, and of course your base also needs precision, your base mods. All right, so for the stat points, you want to go super powered because we don't have a lot of stats. We want to make sure we get a lot of power back. We want to get critical attack damage, critical attack chance, any other skill points you have going to precision, then might if you have anything left over. For the iconic tree, we're using robot sidekick and we're also going to use the Neo Venom boost. For the acrobatics tree, we're just going to get the rocket assist glide. I'm using acrobatics. If you're not acro, it doesn't matter. Don't sweat it. This is who I, this is the type of movement tree I got. I'm using uh acrobatic movement tree and for the weapons we're going to use brawling you're going to want to get all these abilities unlocked of course we're going to be using the shuriken and storm mastery so to unlock that you also got to go on their martial arts tree and unlock all these all right so now for the loadout we're going to use taser pool suppressor turret battle display fear gas stealth and robot psychic Gadgets takes a little bit of uh, clipping skills to use, so we're going to have two loadouts. We have the damage loadout and, of course, the stealth loadout. Stealth, we're going to be using uh, surprise attack, paralyzing dart. I got thermite mines in there. I don't really use them. You can change this out as you see fit, but we do need to slot robot sidekick in here. And, of course, I have the asphyxiation gas supercharge and neo venom boost. I will explain how to use this stuff in time here, but bear with me. All right, so now I'm going to teach you how to clip and jump cancel with suppressor turret. As you see right there, I did the weapon combo. I popped suppressor turret and then I jump cancel it. I use the robot sidekick on both the stealth loadout and the regular loadout because we don't want to lose them when we go into stealth. Just, just a little bit more information there. You see right there, you pop suppressor turret and you jump cancel. Pop suppressor turret and then you jump cancel with it. I'm going to show you a little bit of this more. So I'm going to do the rotation, pop suppressor turret, and jump cancel. We do that so that it doesn't pop, come out. We want to cut the animations of all the abilities we use. So you see right there, I pop the taser pull, pop the suppressor turret, and then jump cancel. Pop taser pull, pop the uh, battle display. I messed it up right there. I was supposed to pop the suppressor turret and jump cancel. But you're going to see right there, suppressor turret and jump cancel. The whole point is to cut the animations from most of our abilities. So you see right there, that's the way to do it. I pop taser pull after the weapon combo went into battle display and then immediately popped suppressor turret and jump canceled it of course you can clip animations out of trinkets with suppressor turret you see right there i popped the orbital and i cut the animations with it i'm gonna pop the supply drop cut the animations with it this is the best thing to do with gadgets this is how you're gonna get your rotations out fast is to clip with suppressor turret it's gonna take you a bit of practicing but practice makes perfect all right, so let's do the rotation now on AOE, three targets. I like going into stealth first so I can pop stealth soon afterwards. Um, you don't have to do this, but I like doing it before I go into a fight so I can pop it more often. 
But as you see right there, you're going to notice the numbers. They're going to go up and then they're going to start dropping down. The reason why they drop is because as a player, you need to you need to have a lot of clipping skills with this power. This power takes a bit of skills, unfortunately, in order to do a lot of damage. But if you have the skills to play with this power, you can beat the broken powers out in the game right now, which is electric or munitions. You could beat them with, with gadgets, but it takes a, a very high skilled player when it comes to clipping in order to do this. You'll see right here, there'll be times I'll mess up my clips and I'll lose a lot of damage. And that's why I'm leaving the clip up so you can see the, the board, how, how I go from hitting 100 and 50 million or 1.5 million damage and it drops right back down to a million damage uh, every 10 seconds that's because i'm messing up the rotation pa practice makes perfect here you have to practice with gadgets in order to get this right um stealth when it comes to stealth it can be tricky i'm using acrobatics i found that using acrobatics makes stealth doesn't mess up so much but that's just my opinion that that could be debatable if you're super speed don't sweat it super speed will work well with gadgets i don't recommend being flight with this power because you need to go into stealth that is the bread and butter of gadgets is going in and out of stealth because it, it hits really hard if you know how to use it now when it comes to popping supercharges it all depends if you're fighting multiple targets when you go into stealth you're going to want to pop the asphy asphyxiation gas if you're fighting a boss then you would pop neo venom boost and then do a surprise attack or use the dart or again when it comes to stealth you can experiment with other abilities i know players that use uh lasso in stealth like believe it or not they'll pop the lasso um there's other players that they have their own little trick in stealth though they'll, they'll pop like two abilities um they'll pop the decoy it all depends on your personal preference me this is my build and, and, and another thing i use a modded controller so the way i have my loadout set up is not necessarily how you're going to want to have it set up on your bar you know so just bear that in mind all right so now let's try this on single target so you can see the number difference i again i go into stealth before i start the fight and that way i can pop stealth again soon afterwards so i can hit even harder with the surprise attack um, and again, if you don't like the stealth bar, the, the loadout I have on the stealth, you can switch some of the moves out. Just make sure to have your asphyxiation gas in there. Make sure to have the robot sidekick in there. You need that in there. And you need the Neo Venom Boost Supercharge. And then you alternate back and forth. If you're fighting a boss, you're going to hit him with the Neo Venom. If you're fighting multiple ads with the boss, hit him with the asphyxiation gas when you pop a supercharge and go into stealth. Um... And again, so the surprise attack, the dart, and the, the thermite mines, you can switch that stuff out. I honestly will keep surprise attack, but I've seen players use, you know, um, I've seen players use the, the acrobatics tree. They'll use the pool move to do damage. They'll put, they'll put cryo foam in there. They'll put sticky bomb in there. It all depends on your personal preference for the stealth bar. But just bear in mind, the, one of the hardest hitting moves for stealth is surprise attack. But you do need to get a little close to hit that hard. You see right there, I hit for 119,000. Almost 120,000 with stealth. And I got a lot. I don't got a lot of stats on this tune. And it's hitting that hard already. So you can just imagine. So in conclusion, gadgets is a really fun and good power. It's really powerful, but it takes skills to use. If, if you're if you're not a player that enjoys clipping a lot then this power might not be for you but i wouldn't recommend giving up right away give it a try um don't get discouraged keep on practicing i'll let this video play out so you can see more or less how i keep on rotating uh my load out here um but yeah if you found this video informative leave a like and if you want to see more content like this consider subscribing to the channel i hope you have a good day and i'm out I got you stuck off the realness. I got you stuck off the realness. I got, I got.
I got, I got you stuck off the rip.